uncertain rags to riches tell your truth sharon horn from here welcome to day 1374 of what you up to now documenting the journey as i transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business and a little bit of back and forth i uh jumped into the online world in 2017 following my divorce and thought i would finish off my my life and career in the online world but decided in 2020 and 2021 that i missed the offline world and the world of real businesses and so i am going to continue to dabble and live with my feet in both worlds because that is my desire my area of expertise my area of fun and learning so online let's talk about what i'm doing online and then maybe down the road we'll talk a little bit more about what i'm doing offline as that becomes of interest to you and to other people since this is an online journal and log of what i'm doing is i've made that transition originally uh I like to focus on the online things that I'm doing here. So for example, online with respect to social media every day for geez, going on since 2018 In 2018, I started to do an annual challenge, meaning I would do one thing every day to improve some area or aspect of my life. The first one was about stretching my comfort zone because I was scared to death to do live video. I wasn't going to do live video. I wasn't going to show up. I hated my voice. Hated my face. I hated everything, of course, like so many of us, us self judgingly do. And I wasn't going to do it. And so, to get over that fear of doing and documenting my journey, I actually started uh, doing an annual challenge. And then, soon after this segment was born of it, because I'm, uh, I've mentioned before, I have vision challenges. And so, I used to journal and write and keep books of things and, and records of things and blog but it became more and more challenging for me to blog in a semi-coherent way and some people might argue that sometimes i don't speak in a coherent way but i seem to be able to capture the essence of what i'm working on more quickly and easily in video these days than trying to journal it out and write it out so <coughs> that's the actual purpose of this little video log so today I, I've been, I'm doing an annual challenge on doing one thing every day that centers us. This year is the fourth year in a row where we've done an annual challenge and I'm using these little mindfulness. This is a mindfulness journal. I used a uh, stretching your comfort zone journal the first year, then do one everything, do one thing every day that makes us do one fun thing it was 2020. 2019 was about happiness, I think. Isn't that sad? I can't remember. Anyway. This year is all about getting to know ourselves better from Little Journal Book. Do one thing every day that centers you. And we are on, of course, day 307. And today was about certainty. And basically it says, you know, the only thing that's certain is that nothing is certain. And isn't that the truth? Uh, which led to our uh, no-nonsense November, I guess, nugget, we'll call it, for, no, uh, for lack of a better name. Um, every day in the month of November last year, I did a tool a day. I shared different tools that I've used throughout my career and throughout my life that have been super duper helpful to me in accomplishing different things, just making life easier, making business easier, making accomplishing my goals and objectives easier. And I could do that again, but I do that in the, the get up and go challenge pretty much every other month. I share some of my favorite tools and teach people how to use them so that they can make them a part of their life if they so choose. And in November, I decided I would just randomly think of a piece of advice or lesson learned or um, wisdom or way of being that served me well and share that. So instead of making a whole list ahead of time, which sometimes I'll do, sometimes I don't. This time, I think I did it when I, I did the tools in November last year, but this year, obviously I haven't. I just think of one in the morning and whatever pops into my head, that becomes the topic of the No Nonsense November. So we've talked about thinking for ourselves taking 100% responsibility. And today was about being honest with ourselves, telling ourselves the truth. You know, we can, we can fool some of the people some of the time, but we can never really fool ourselves. We're always, um, we, we try to delude ourselves. You know, we all do that. It's human nature to try to cover up, sugarcoat, and make ourselves feel better. But the truth is, we always know the truth. At a subconscious level, no matter how weird and delusional things might become or convoluted, we deep down know our truth, what's right for us and what's not right for us, what is true to us and what isn't true to us, what makes us feel good and what makes us feel bad. And usually the truth makes us feel good, right? The, if we're being honest with ourselves and telling ourselves the truth, 
it feels good. If we're telling ourselves something that feels bad, guess what? That's not our truth. So that was our No Nonsense November today. Our money idiom for today was from rags to riches. And uh, it's a that's a great idiom because it is such a a well ingrained, well entrenched uh, storyline, and it, it is a storyline. Almost every single one of us can come up with a component of our life and our experience that represents a rags to riches story. Any type of struggle, overcoming, and then achieving a goal or objective we want in any area or aspect of our life can be considered a rags to riches story. You know, we are surrounded by rags to riches stories. We love rags to riches stories. I don't think you can pick up a business magazine any given month without seeing at least one rags to riches story in it or going online. Online is got a plethora of rags to riches stories, many of which are, are true, some of which are, of course, not true and are made to look like rags to riches stories. Um, but there's plenty of rags to riches stories for us to call upon and learn from to motivate and guide us and inspire us if we so choose. I think Andrew Carnegie is a great rags to riches business story. Maybe one of the best rags to riches business story. Um, there's in every walk of life, in any area that we can think of, any athletes, any employees, any business owners, any people that have overcome challenges or odds, which how many of us know business owners that haven't had challenges and and things to overcome? Just look back to 2020 and any business owners that are still existing today, even if they're still struggling a bit, have overcome huge obstacles in 2020 and 2021 alone. So no shortage of rags to riches stories. Um, we all have our favorites. I don't know what my favorite rags to riches story is. You know, there's fairy tales are rags to riches stories. Charles Dickens wrote many rags to riches stories. Charles Dickens himself was a rags to riches story. Um, there's famous people. J.K. Rowling is, I guess, one of my favorite uh, lady who overcame so much to become a billionaire author of the Harry Potter series. Arnold Schwarzenegger became a weightlifter and bodybuilder and actor and governor and politician. Uh, Steve Jobs, you know, started Apple just like so many other businesses, you know, very, very uh, minimal beginnings. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, trying to think of so many actors, Jim Carrey, um, so many uh, famous people have overcome many, many things to go from meager beginnings to rich endings um, <coughs> and everywhere in between so that was our idiom today our money idiom we're doing money idioms for the month of november uh, we did time related idioms last month we're doing money related idioms this month i don't know maybe i'll pick a theme for december haven't thought about it yet but maybe we will maybe we won't maybe we'll pick a i don't know i don't know what but but for right now it's money idioms so those are the the main pieces of content that i create every day uh, why to Number one, keep myself accountable, be honest with myself and keep myself going. Number two, to show up and, and provide some semblance of value to the world in the way that I can. I build a strong believer in doing what you can with what you've got right now. And 2020 and 2021 for many have been uh, interesting years of, of just um, roadblocks and obstacles that are created for other people's benefit, but not necessarily for ours. And so I want to make sure that I keep going and that other people keep going as well. So that's, that's all I want to talk about right now. Still feeling under the weather, still got a cold, seems to be hopefully turning the corner because I'm sick of feeling under the weather, sick of feeling sick and uh, ready to have my energy back to, to finish the year strong. If I can help you anyway, ask otherwise, that's all I'm going to say today. I'm going to sign off and wish you an amazing day and I will be with you tomorrow.